Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate how to install these fire safety signs. According to the SAN standard, the signs have to be photoluminescent. That means they are supposed to be seen even when the lights are off. And also they need to be in an aluminium frame. One of the reasons for the aluminium frame is if the sign is just stuck on the wall with glue, if there's heat, the sign might fall off. So it's best to screw the sign into the wall. You will need some plugs and some screws and your drill. Some signs do not need to be in a frame for example there's non-smoking signs and things like that so these ones will just stick on the wall but these exit signs we will now drill into the wall and I'll demonstrate how to do that all right the first step is to go around and put the signs on the floor next to each doorway or exit where you want your signs just make sure it's got the SANS standard number here as you can see I've got it over here and here but if you look at this one there's no SANS number on it uh, just having a look there you can see the regular sign and here's the photoluminescent and if I show you indoors you'll see what a difference it is All right so it's in the cupboard it's been here for a while and you can see this is now just dull while the photoluminescent remains bright even in the dark right so this particular brand what you do is you slide the top off over there Right, this is a six millimeter nylon plug, so I'm using a six millimeter masonry bit. But now I just need to tap this a little bit and then it slides in. But these signs are incorrect. These exit signs and the fire safety signs must be photoluminescent and they must be in an aluminium frame. The SAN standard number must also be on display on the front of the sign. These information signs do not need to be put in an aluminium frame. You can stick these on your wall. Here is putty or prestic, whatever you call it. That's what it looks like. You normally use this for putting posters on a wall. So I use this, but hang on, you must use the silicone as well. I only use this just to hold it in place while the silicone is dry. The main glue here is the silicone. If your putty is not sticky, just activate it by doing this until it gets warm. Right, now it's very sticky. Okay, so what I do is I just make little balls here. I put it in the same place on each sign. I then take the silicone and I blob it. Do not put it right on the edges, otherwise when you push it on the wall, you'll see it'll come out the edge. That's why I've left a boundary there. You can see, don't put the silicone too close to the edge. If you want to, you can do lines. Right, the reason for the blobs is if the surface is uneven, the silicone will still get into any grooves. Right, this is a rough cast wall. All I'm doing is I'm just removing any of the dust. It's dry. And even though the wall is rough and got crevices, this will hold because of the blobs of the silicone. 
this is a rough cast wall as you can see there's lots of different levels here I line it up get the spirit level now decide where I'm gonna put it and because of the sticky putty or the press stick it holds it in place while the silicone is going to dry and it still allows you to do your final adjustments right and you're done all right so here is the door this is the toilet door so i'm just going to put the first sign over there and because of the press stick and i know where it is it's there and there i can just put the sign there it'll hold in place see there's the putty so I know where it is and when I put it over there all right now what I do is I just level it and now I just depress the putty Make sure you don't get any silicone on the signs. And the beauty of the putty and the silicone is it still allows you to adjust the sign for correct levels.